can ask everybody to arrange themselves so they are safely social distanced. In 2016, Arizona's minimum wage was $8.05 an hour. To afford to live, I lived in like a three bedroom house with like seven people. I have worked in the service industry for all my life. In 2017, it went to $10. Rent keeps going up and landlords continue to hike up rent. And in 2020, it lifted to $12. It's an improvement, but it's it's still only a step in the right direction. It's not like you got where you should be. But some want it even higher. The new Raise the Wage Act included in President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief package seeks to raise the minimum wage to $15. That's a $3 increase here in Arizona. This $3 seems insignificant to so many, but it's so important to small business owners, to people who are working on the front lines, to people who are serving their food and busting their tables. To keep food in their belly. To it's awful to hear how every, every place will call them heroes and then pay them so much less. The rally took place at Democratic Senator Kirsten Sinema's office off of Camelback Road. Attendees called for her to sign on to the act. We're here basically demanding that Kirsten Cinema raise the subminimum wage. If it passes, this means that all minimum wages will be raised to $15 across the country, including tipped workers. If you are for the working class, you'll make you'll do whatever you can to make that extra three dollars. That would make it worth going to work during a pandemic and risking your life. In Phoenix, Caitlin Keenahan. From Kite News.